Panhard and Leviser 6 DS Berlin X6620 CV 1930. At the October 1929 Paris Motor Show, Panhard and Leviser, one of the oldest car manufacturers in France, unveil two new generation luxury models, the X6660 S20 CV and the X678 DS29 CV. Their complex names were deciphered as follows. The first two digit number with the letter X is the in-house serial number of the model, which was not indicated in the catalogs. This was followed by the series index, DS, and the number of cylinders, 6 or 8, and the last figure indicated the amount of fiscal horsepower, tax power depending on the engine size. Thus, Benhard and Levisor X6660 S20 CV was equipped with an inline six-cylinder engine with a volume of 3,507 cubic centimeters, and Panhard and Levisor X678 DS29 CV, with an inline eight-cylinder engine with a volume of 6,350 cubic centimeters. Both powertrains had night sleeve timing system, therefore they were completely silent. The letter S in the name of each model meant Serbs, that is, low chassis. The front and rear axles passed over the frame, which provided the cars with low ground clearance. The Benhard and Levisor X6660 DS was offered with two factory bodies, a classic six-window six-seater sedan and a four-window sedan with a suitcase attached to the rear wall. In 1929, four convertibles were built but open bodies were usually ordered from specialized ateliers. In total, from 1930 to 1932, 509 cars of this model were sold. In 1932, it was replaced by the Panhard and Levisor X666 DSRL 23 CV with a six-cylinder 4080 cc engine and an automatic clutch. This car was produced until 1934 when the Panhard and Levisor X7360 S27 CV appeared with a new body of the Panoramique series. As for the 8-cylinder model X678 DS29 CV, it was so expensive that from 1930 to 1938, the company produced only 43 examples, including a version with a smaller 5.1-liter engine. 